What we've seen in the last six months is Iran actively trying to destabilize the whole region, uh, whether that's through their proxies, uh, you know, Hezbollah in the north or Hamas or even the Houthis. So, yes, I do think that uh, that that Iran has been actively trying to destabilize the region. And there is a a imminent threat to 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 our nation and to our people. OK, so there is that threat and we understand it. However, there are some who would suggest that Israel's move to go into Syria, into Damascus, to, Damascus, to take that direct action was provocation, wasn't it? I think, like I said, Iran has been actively over the last six months from various proxies doing everything they can to destabilize the region. Iran, within their own country, has a lot of unrest. They're a very oppressive regime to their own people. And they are trying to spread that to the entire region. Now, uh, I can't, I won't comment directly on what happened in Syria, except to say that the building in question was absolutely a military facility and not an embassy. Okay, so in terms of uh, what could happen and the next moves, um, we start to have a look at the Iranian arsenal of uh, weapons that they have. How on earth do we stop this escalating? I think that the U.S. is very concerned about this, and we are very concerned about this. And, you know, we can, we're going to do everything we can to push back on Iranian proxies and uh, push back on this threat. However, as the prime minister said, Israel is prepared and will respond with force to any threat against us or any attempts to attack us.